Hey there YouTubers, the day has arrived where I install this Intel Celeron G6900 into this ASRock Z690 Pro RS motherboard. I know you guys are as excited as I am. Let's get into it, alright? So, we have this motherboard here. We've got CPU here. We have this, uh, you know, cheap ass Intel CPU cooler. Uh, pre applied thermal paste. As you might know from the other videos, the unboxings and all that stuff, the other CPUs that uh, we'll say i3 and above, because I don't know what the Pentium has, have the, uh, the copper plated bottom or the copper uh, copper bottom. I don't think it's copper plated. But uh, so this one, you know, super cheap in comparison to that, right? We'll get the job done, sure, because this is a low wattage CPU. Now, we are, we've already put quite a few CPUs in this thing. At this point, it's probably a good idea to check out our pins, make sure everything's good in there. Looks like it is. So we will uh, go ahead and proceed with the installation. Now, of course, uh, there is a triangle here, just so you know, that we're going to line up our CPU with, okay? Our CPU has one there in that lower corner. If we can get this out of here, hopefully we won't damage it. So I usually try to do this two hands, um, just in case it slips. And I have the camera attached to my body, just so you all know. All right, so go in there and look real close. Looks like it's in there, right? So we'll drop this down and put that in place. Now, these guys uh, don't like hard surfaces underneath the motherboard, right? So I'm going to lift the motherboard up off of the mouse pad that's sitting on. Pre-applied thermal paste. Will it be enough for this CPU? I'm sure it will be. All right. So hopefully these are aligned correctly. They are all over the place, all right? So we'll see how that goes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This one here is for the CPU. And of course, lo and behold folks, I can't. I can't see it. So the lighting is not very good where I'm at. Should have thought about that before I did this video, right? Okay, it's in. So now we'll put these, align these with the holes. So hopefully we will. So these pins, folks, are super cheap. Um, that's why you know Intel uses this, but they are not going to last for multiple installations. So if you pull this out, put it back in, pull it out, eventually they're not going to work so great. All right, so there is a uh, trick to this, and you want to be all the way. What is that? Clockwise? Whichever direction that is. Um, you want to hear that snap? That was not a very good sounding snap, folks. Now, you notice I do have my hand underneath the motherboard. It is off the deck. There was a good snap. And the final one. There. So, not that you ever want to hold your motherboard by the CPU cooler, but just to make sure that thing's in there because, quite honestly, had some issues with those. Um, like I said, though, you know, a little, little twist that direction uh, before you put them in, and it is good to go. All right, so we've got uh, a shortage of parts here. 
I'm going to have to uh, snag some stuff off this computer right here. So let's go ahead and shut it down. Now normally I would, you know, not just kill it like I'm about to, but we're recording, right? Time is money. And shut this off with the power supply. So this computer is going to go in uh, prime spot number one, the one I'm building right now. And I think we'll go ahead and use this uh, Zotac RTX 2060 Super on it. Probably not enough graphics card, folks. I think we might need more graphics card than that. Um, we need the M.2 off here. We need the RAM. That's really what we need. Yeah, we need the M.2 and the RAM. So I'm just going to snag these. Hey, if you'd like to donate some RAM to the channel, we will gladly accept it. Um, mainly because we don't have a lot of money. All right, so RAM. Now, it says right here, you probably can't read because the lighting's bad, but uh, you know, if you are only gonna have two sticks of RAM, you'll wanna put them in A2, B2. So these two here, RAM only goes in one way. And snaps, right? Same thing with this. So I actually have four sticks of this lying around, but we, uh, I don't think this all around is gonna need it, folks. All right, so we got that in. Now we need to steal the M.2, which this is probably the wrong size, Phillips. Yeah, just my luck. Wrong size. Let's see if we can find another one. Do, 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 do. And I think we did. Taking this guy. So this is a Gen 3, I believe. Yeah, Gen 3. It's not the Western Digital Black. And we'll just put that in there. Trusty uh, magnetic screwdriver. Available at Walmart, I think. Not a very good brand, though, folks. Um, can't say this is really the best. Yeah, didn't even... Barely stuck to it. And we probably cross threaded that. All right, so that's in there. Graphics card, we'll put that right in there. Then I'm gonna transport this over to test position one. We have uh, really three test positions. I want to make sure that I put this where we can um, use the video capture card because you guys I know want some benchmarks. All right, so we got our graphics card. When we get over there, um, I will, I'll probably stop recording, but uh, we will connect the power supply and all that good old stuff. We got enough time left recording. Let me grab the box because this helps me remember which motherboard's underneath it. And we'll stick this underneath here. And then we'll carry it into position. All right. And I'll put that there. So this is test position one here. Shut this guy down. 
This will have a uh, 850 watt power supply on it. And we just got to disconnect all these without cut off the power. Disconnect all this. And, you know, some people recommend uh, hitting the power switch one more time before you do that, but we're skipping that step today. So this was a decent motherboard here, ASUS Tough B660M. Missing a couple features that I really wanted on it, but you'll see it on the channel again, probably sooner than later. All right, so we need to get this out of the way. Pile that over there with that, and get this into position. Now, if this stops recording, folks, uh, we will just be basically done with the video at that point. But, uh, all right. We need a little more light in here. If I can find more light. Nope, no more light. And our portable light switch is dead. So, that's unfortunate. So this is a semi-modular power supply that I'm hooking up. If I can get this to reach. That's our 20 plus 4. And it appears I shut off the eco mode instead of the actual power supply. Or I just turn it back on. There we go. And our 8 pin, 6 plus 2. You know, Zotac will drive you nuts with their design. Um, CPU, how many CPUs this thing got? Okay. There is the right one. And we just need our CPU power connector. which this is a bit of a stretch. That is not... I don't know if the CP power connector is going to reach that far. So for this CPU, obviously we do not need to go with uh, the extra four pins, right? Will we? That's a good question. You guys want me to throw everything I can throw at it? Maybe I should, huh? Another CPU power connector. Yeah, these things just are not quite long enough. Voila. So, power supply needs to go on to the other side, it looks like. Knocking shit over. All right. So, now we just need a uh, power switch. Get that off there. Recharge our light. Hopefully you guys can see this. I may have to put this on a different channel. Um, 
Okay, you know what? the light works. Yep. Light doesn't work. All right, so we gotta steal our power switch. This is where you wish you had better light. And a cameraman. All right, so now we can turn our power switch back on. See the lights on the motherboard. And presto. So there you go, folks. That's gonna do it. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.